Curly Claus came to Paris to slay see for yourself. I saw me, Curly Claus came to slay. It's not every day you see a supermodel take such wardrobe risks, as beautifully illustrated by this year's Met Gala. Which is why you probably weren't paying attention to Curly and all the goodness she was serving while in Paris this past week. Big mistake. More often than not we see models attending events and fashion shows in gowns that wear them after all, that is their job. But this haute couture fashion week, Curly came to play with the big style stars and hit each look straight out of the park, thanks to stylist Carla Welch, hair stylist Jen Atkin and makeup artist Vincent Oquendo, every damn time. Two major Dior moments and a gothic Mugler one later, and Curly has solidified that she really is a style star in her own right. Take a look. July 3rd at the Christian Dior show was Curly's first appearance in Paris. Wearing, of course, all Dior she gave us a seriously edgy look in a mustard gown, clunky combat boots and safari style Stephen Jones millinery hat on a string hanging at her back styled by the genius that is Carla Welch, you know, the most powerful stylist of the year. More than that, the supermodel took things to an even edgier place when she not only had celeb hairstylist Jen Atkin style her platinum debut, but also give the star a killer faux-shaped look, a far cry from her usual natural-bodied bob. With wavy locks on one side and hair swept so tightly on the other it gave the illusion it had been buzzed. To top off the whole look Vincent Oquendo gave curly deep cherry red lips and a nude-looking face. Later that same day, she stepped out again in support of Dior for the fashion house's 70th anniversary celebration. Here she went with a classically modern Dior silhouette, pointed toe pumps but threw us a curved ball by carrying a bright red clutch adding a fiery side to the outfit then topping it all off with a dainty black choker. Then, again, Jen gave her what she called on Instagram, a sexy Hitchcock vibe, for the nighttime look using her Jen Atkin X Chloe and Isabel Pearl pin set to edge up her bun. In the makeup department, Vincent went with a peach-hued lip, and nude face with a little more color in the cheeks than earlier. In a sultry, stroppy mugler dress for the Vogue Foundation dinner, she went full goth, you know, in the most fashionable way possible, clutching a shiny Roger Vivier bag, sporting Giuseppe's unnaughty ankle strap heels and rocking one of the coolest Rapasa ear cuffs we've ever seen. For her beauty, she again surprised us in a super dark lip and nearly nude face, but kept her long, new platinum locks tucked behind her ears in a sleek, edgy manner for optimal ear cuff viewing. 